All right, let's take out him and him. And you ready? You ready? Here you go. Watch this. You ready? Oh, <laughs> just under seven mil. Absolute madness. This build is a beast. What's up, everyone, and welcome back to another video. My name's Ben Lee. I make multiple videos on Outriders every single week, and I've also started live streaming. It's been going incredibly well, and the support has been amazing. So if you guys are interested in that, be sure to go down and hit that subscribe button. Also hit that like button. The streaming has been right here on YouTube, so you don't even have to leave the platform. Very convenient. So hit that subscribe button. You'll be able to be notified when I go live. Don't be like Dave here. Come on, Dave. You can do it. All right, guys, so today I'm coming at you with something really awesome, and it's hell of a good fun if you'd like to see some absolute ridiculously high numbers. It's my AoE clear one-shot style trickster build. It's an incredibly strong build that will carry you through ZT15 content. It's also very cult friendly due to the ammo refresh from instant reload. And it's just something that's slightly different from the meta of using a death shield. It's extremely viable. And honestly, guys, the numbers you get from this are silly. It's very, very flexible. And also with this, if you were to pair yourself up with a debuff pyro, for example, the amount of damage you'll get you might even be one-shotting bosses. I haven't been able to test that yet because I haven't gone into a multiplayer with somebody. However, I could really see the numbers going absolutely through the roof. Now, it feels a little bit higher skill cap, for example, than a death shield build. Because if you miss your shots, you could be left in a tricky situation. However, the build that I've done is actually really forgiving and it is very flexible. And when I get to the mods, I'll show you. There's loads and loads of options you can do with this because you've basically got like one to maybe two mod slots that aren't mandatory and you can do whatever you want with them so it's a really fun build that's super flexible uh, you can either just build like crazy crit damage really high firepower you can get really tanky it depends on whatever you want you can do so it'll suit loads of different play styles and it's probably the most flexible build i've seen so far on a trickster that's also just incredibly viable and will do absolute mega damage. All right, so starting at the skills, obviously we're using Twisted Rounds. This is where loads of our damage come from. Absolutely mandatory, and it's a brilliant skill. Second here, we got Venator's Knife. I really feel like Venator's Knife for this build is really important because of the first damage dealt to you will be doubled. This makes your crits and your first hits on enemies absolutely massive. It's really insane. I mean, you could change it out for something like Time Rift or even borrowed time but i highly recommend staying with venator's knife it's on a super short cooldown and it will be really good for you so trust me guys use venator's knife and then hunt the prey for this build and for what i've done with it it's mandatory because of how you get your ammo back and i'll explain that a little bit later on in the video next moving to our class tree we've gone up the assassin tree this is a very normal build for me when it comes to just high damage and lots of cooldown so obviously you've got things like your shotgun master you've got your disruptive firepower and your outright executioner they're really good for just being able to spam your skills and keeping up your weapon damage absolutely massive if you do get your crits from behind with both these unforeseen ends stacked and both your skills here stacked the damage is absolutely massive it's ludicrous it's silly numbers and it's so much fun to see so it's really good for that so very standard build high dps with lots and lots of cooldown reduction coming over to our items we have the anomaly effigy and i've paired this one up with dark sacrifice this is a pump action shotgun and it's absolutely amazing because concentration blast is so good it also has a buff to crit damage and a buff to close range damage which makes it absolutely amazing but concentration blast here you've got killing shots cause enemies to explode dealing 113k damage multiplied by the maximum number of six enemies within a five meter radius around the original target it's only on a one second cooldown so it goes off all the time and the more enemies are around the more damage it does and it scales really high and it's just absolutely amazing especially when you've got a big group of alien creatures it just takes like all of them out in one shot and it's absolutely hilarious next i've paired this up with dark sacrifice i currently feel like this is the absolute meta and the best option you have for this you could pair this up instead with killing spree that will give you a extra 75 percent weapon damage just like dark sacrifice will however you do have to get the kills and stuff beforehand and i feel like dark sacrifice is just the best option you could also put fortress on this it'll give you 43 percent weapon damage but dark sacrifice will be your best bet trust me on that guys and dark sacrifice drops on the fatal symbiote here Next up on Tanner's hat here, ideally you want to have bonus firepower, close range damage and cooldown reduction on all your pieces. I don't quite have it on all these pieces because I'm trying to find some gloves that have it better on and you'll see, but it still does absolutely 
crazy high damage even with a build like this so on tanner's hat here we've got stare into the barrel this comes with it and it's a really good mod for this build so boost your firepower by up to 10k for each enemy in close range and stacks up to five times so you can get 50k out of this when it's at max level and it just gives you a massive boost in firepower so it's really really good the next one i've actually put on this is life drain and this just keeps you healthy all the way through you can buy it from Diego, and it's one of the legendaries that he sells you just need to farm up a few drop pod resources and you can get it quite easily and the skill basically equates to when you kill something you're at full health you can swap this one out with literally any mod you would like it's super flexible if you wanted to go with twisted fate for example to get an extra 30 percent crit damage you could take this one off you're still going to be killing things incredibly quickly i've put life drain in this to make it quite a balanced build for people to be able to follow but it is very flexible next up on the chest piece i've got mitigation from death this one i would definitely put in your build it's an s tier mod in my eyes it's absolutely amazing for a firepower build and it should be in your build so i would just put it in and then we have personal space that grants 15 percent close range damage this is a really good mod it gives a big bonus to close range damage you could swap it out for a different firepower based mod but that would be up to you i really like personal space so i keep it in my build going down to the pants you can see i don't have cooldown reduction on this so it's not ideal but it still works really well as long as you've got a lot of bonus firepower and close range damage on this one i've put in instant reload and this one drops from mr otara's cowl here this one for me actually dropped on chem plan i get a lot of people ask where i got it from because they struggle to get it but yeah chem plan it was for me this is really mandatory for this build it's now the only way with this build that i get my ammo back and because it fires quite slowly because it's a pump action shotgun you'll be able to keep your ammo up just with hunt the prey just because of the low cooldown of hunt the prey and the slow fire rate combined so it really frees up a mod you don't need to have something like ammo bargain in the build and this is where i mean by it's so flexible so on the pants here i've also paired it with ice trap i really like ice trap when it freezes everything it's really handy and i also just think it looks really cool you could for example swap it out with perseverance shield circle of power or emergency stand but I really like Ice Trap, so I've got it in my build. Next up on the gloves, I'm using Gauntlets of the Cannonball because I haven't found a piece yet that I can swap in and out. I'm still farming up for another piece that will actually have close range damage on, so it's not ideal. The skills life leech is a bit of a waste, but it's absolutely fine. I'm still doing absolute massive damage, but Captain Hunter, I feel like, is really important for this. It really boosts your damage against elites and will allow you to take out the bosses really, really quickly. I've also put on Sharp Eye. It's another absolutely amazing mod to just boost your firepower. I would definitely get at least kind of three mods that boost your firepower or your damage with this build so sharp eye personal space and stare into the bow are really good but then i also pair it with bloodlust bloodlust is absolutely mandatory i would recommend this highly it's only a tier 2 mod but it gives you a massive amount of firepower and it's really easy to stack because you don't even have to stare down the barrel to get the bar and then on this as well i've also got buckshot shells for just even more damage and as always guys just because i'm really really nice i'll put all of them up on the screen for you at the same time so you can pause the video and take a look if you like this then please remember to go down and like the video all right guys as well i just want to shout out for the discord that we've got going there's an absolutely amazing community going on there it's completely free the link will be in the description if you fancy joining it there's loads of people in there offering advice with their builds as well as doing free carries for ct climbing so big shout out to you guys keep up the good work you're doing absolutely amazing and thank you so much love you to pieces but yeah this build is absolutely insane the aoe clear is really nice and refreshing it means you don't need to go down the time rift and pain transfer route to get a nice aoe clear for a trickster it's really good fun and the numbers are absolutely insane as I said, a little bit higher skill cap than, for example, a Death Shield build because you've really got to aim your shots. But when you get them off and you everything lines up and you get massive crits and you one-shot elites like a Warlord, it's absolutely insane and just absolutely hilarious. And if you want to check out more, come check me out on the stream. I stream right here on YouTube. If you like the video, please give it a like and consider subscribing if you've learned anything. I'll be posting multiple videos on Outriders every single week. And let me know in the comments what you think of this build. Maybe you've got something else that you would prefer to try or another mod that you've think would be amazing then let me know i really want to know and if you're going to use this build as well let me know because i really want to know who you guys are and until the next one guys i'll leave you with the rest of this footage of this cd15 solo stargrave expedition i absolutely smashed it with this build and it was really good fun and you'll be able to see some of the crazy high numbers as well as the aoe clear so it's a really good expedition to show this one off to you guys and there we are then guys this build is really interesting and it's actually really good fun but until the next one guys hope you've learned something and i also hope you have a very nice day and until the next one See you now.
found a pod down here guarded by monsters. I've secured it. Plenty of rock samples for you to play with. Perfect. Should we have a way to run the test? Access granted. Strange that the monsters are interested in the pod. Perhaps they're drawn to the humming from the electronics in the 